start the engine, you must have your intelligent key with you. Press the brake pedal and then push the ignition switch. To stop the engine, move the shift selector to the park position and push the ignition switch. Pushing the ignition switch once will illuminate the ignition switch and place it in the on position. When the ignition switch is pushed a second time, it will turn the ignition switch off. The on position has a battery saver feature that turns the ignition switch off after a period of time. This occurs when the vehicle is not running. All of the doors remain closed and the shift lever is in park. The battery saver feature cancels when any door opens. The shift lever is moved out of park, hazard lamps are turned on, turn signals are turned on, or the ignition switch changes position. If the ignition is left in the on position with the vehicle not running for an extended period of time, various systems in the vehicle can discharge the battery and your vehicle may not start. Allow the engine to idle for at least 30 seconds after starting. Do not race the engine while warming it up. Drive at a moderate speed for a short distance, especially in cold weather. During cold weather, allow the engine to run for a minimum of two to three minutes before shutting it off. Starting and stopping the engine over a short period of time may make the vehicle more difficult to start. If the driver's door is open while the ignition switch is in the on position, a chime will sound. When you place the ignition switch in the off position and the transmission in park, Power continues for the audio and Bluetooth systems for a period of time or until the driver's door is opened. This period of time can be extended up to a total of 30 minutes by pressing the power button on the audio system or the unlock button on the intelligent key. Make sure the ignition switch is placed in the off position and take the intelligent key with you when leaving the vehicle. If the intelligent key battery is discharged, and you need to start the engine. First, make sure the shift lever is in park. Touch the ignition switch with the intelligent key and a chime will sound. Within 10 seconds of hearing the chime, depress the brake pedal, then push the ignition switch. The engine will start. If you do not depress the brake pedal while pushing the ignition switch, the ignition position will change to on, but the engine will not start. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating and feature information.